guys. It's Sunday the 8th of August, 2021. And this is Tabo Tom. Still, we're four plus days now of uh, nothing upstairs at all. Can't flush the commode or nothing. Uh, my neighbor turned me on to this little job, which I bought, which will be going in here pretty soon. Uh, he, he still has, he has pressure up in his house. Nobody else does but he's the only one with a pump. I was going to go film his little setup that he put in, but uh, he asked me not to. Uh, I, have a, I have a tape of it, but uh, I, we had asked him if we could put him in here uh, from the people down there, and they said, yeah, uh, there was no problem. That, that's on your, as long as it's on your property, uh, it can happen. Now, I just got this one to get us going, because the, the pressure pump, you want to walk, Maddie? Okay. Uh, the, the one that I want down at... Uh, um, Wilcon Depot, it's like 20 some grand with the, uh, this one has an automatic shut off. I don't know how durable or how long it'll last. The neighbor's been using his for months. Uh, he's really happy with it. He has no tank. He didn't want to do a tank. He thought he'd give this a try because it's pretty inexpensive. It was about 40 bucks, I think. Uh, I'd have to look on the slip. But um, it's, I'm going to give it a whirl and see. Uh, the guys aren't working today because because of the water situation. Usually they work uh, Sundays. Yeah, bub. When we're back, can we go for a motorcycle ride? Yeah, we're going to ride the motorcycle today, yeah. And but, can I sit in the front? Yeah, you sure can. He's been, he's, uh, the last time uh, he rode in the front on the bike and was had his hands on the handlebars, so he was, <laughs> he was ecstatic on that, so. Usually they'll ride backwards on the back and do goofy stuff, but they like it. But uh, these guys work in seven days a week. They've been working seven days a week, and you do need a day off. You know, I remember years ago, I, I worked a job that, when I took it over, it was way behind. They were way behind. They was in a bind, and they was looking to make a deal. So they got me in there, and I worked eight and a half months uh, without a single day off. I actually uh, set up a little camper deal at the right at the job site like these guys do and i just stayed there because uh we were working shifts because it was a it was a government job and for every day you were behind schedule uh, they wouldn't give you the the um, inspectors thing so you couldn't get a draw from the bank and uh, there was fines uh th their contract they signed was every day they were over the job was five thousand dollars a day so but, so i just stayed there and uh, I got a nice bonus on that one. You know, you, you got to do it. But you do need time off. That, that basically killed me. Uh, I remember when that job was done, I took, I took a whole month off just to decompress. It was rough. And these guys really, really hump. So I'm glad they kind of got a day off today. Uh, that we're going to have a little get-together over at my place tonight for, for our core ones, the ones that stay here. Uh, wife's going to make some pollutant and stuff. Really good guys. And Coco, we got a, uh, from what I'm understanding, I thought that uh, where Faye's mom lived was on uh, MECQ, but they're not. It's ECQ, uh, and that I think that's till the 20th. She can't even get out of her house right now because of her age. Uh, a lot of places are closed. You can't get across the borders up there, so it's not, you know, it's, it's just not really good now. They're just going to... Uh, keep imposing these things on people that's the way it goes but uh i get a lot of folks talking about i should put a well in on the property well there's no place on on mine that i could put a property everything outside the wall is not mine these lots are all sold i mean you can see they're building they're building a lot there'll be one in between those two uh you know the ones that are right on either side of me those will be those will be done the two behind that have a little houses those will be torn out those that's all sold and there's no place for me to put any kind of a well my parking area is nothing but a huge septic tank you know it's a it's a monstrous big septic tank um so you know there's, there's just it's, it can't happen you know uh, i looked at the pressure pump i had i had lived in a place that had a uh, spring house for water before I put a well in there and uh, that place uh, that worked perfect this way yeah we can go that way I'll there's some of these houses but uh, you know it, that just can't be done you know and all the things that are being done between um, 
the places who built it and the people who are managing it. This is all being done by the people living here. They're not. They're not happy either. But uh, and I, I can foresee as more houses going in here, this isn't going to get better. It's just going to get worse. You know, it's just nature of this beast. But all of them are, right now, we just don't have anything. Things move slow here. Papa, can we go inside that uh, You can just go take a little look. Yeah. Here's one here. They're they're doing. They're, these guys are really doing a neat job. We'll go in. I hope the camera uh, opens the aperture so we, it's not too dark. But they got the tile in, and uh, the kitchen stuff is in. I'm not going to go upstairs. I got the ceiling in. But uh, oh, there's a nice little storage area with a window. That's kind of cool. Cool kitchen. That's a nice kitchen. Oh, and they got like a little like kind of like a dirty one here and. Oh, and a, just a little wee wee one with a window. That's this is cool. This is a, this is a nice house, much bigger living room than mine. And then they got the little side. But you got to remember, everything outside these walls doesn't belong to you. You you stop. Your ground stops right here. That's just that's just how these places go. So there's there's no there's no doing wells or anything. You know, that's, and plus they they're not even going to allow that. And uh, it, as you guys know from some some of you that have been longtime viewers, uh, when it comes to courts, Papa, yeah, these people are going to push it through to court. They're, they're, Papa, I, jump out the I know, I saw that. But uh, it, it just doesn't work out. You know, it's slow for one thing. I had a, a motorcycle accident, it was three and a half years, and then I didn't get, I got a third of what, just what the motorcycle was worth. Not my, t I didn't get anything for my time off of work. I didn't get anything from my jacket, my helmet that was destroyed, nothing. Uh, you know, the judge felt sorry for the guy. Whenever somebody has a case against them, in order to beat the case, they just drag it on. Uh, the guy wouldn't show up. And these guys, if, if it does come to a court case, they just won't show up. Oh, sorry, we couldn't make it. And they don't do, do anything to them. Ah, uh, Tom's back again. The battery took a, a poo. These uh, these wasabi batteries, they're, I think they're getting to the end of their life. They're they're not really good. Even my Sony battery doesn't last as long as it was. You know, but yeah, I've had it well over a year. Uh, the wasabi batteries never had the uh, even though they say the same writing on the side. So many of these MHVs and all that, they do, they just never held up as good as the Sony one. And if you buy one of these Sony cameras, any kind of service or parts for Sony in this country, you can just forget it. You know and uh, getting one shipped from overseas every oh yeah you can go right on amazon and get it yeah sure i went on amazon one time to buy some snow seal uh and they have it they have it on amazon i wanted it for the leather protectant to protect my jackets and, and my leather shoes and stuff and uh sure i can get it yeah guess what guess what the uh tariff or whatever charge they put on there was 108 dollars for a couple dollar thing so getting Amazon stuff here now it's, it, it's not gonna happen so I even took it off of the phone I had it on the phone you know you can look at all the stuff but you can't have any of it unless you're unless you're rich and don't care about the money and the guys that ain't me it's just like where we're, where we're living now you know I'm not gonna live beyond my means anymore I'm, I'm retired uh, I, I don't want to have big payments on everything so that I have no money at the end of the month. I'm not going to do that. It's, you know, I got I got children. I have little kids here that that uh, they're going to need money. We have money we put in their accounts every month, and because when they get older, uh, they're going to probably need a car, uh, maybe a bike or something. I want I'd like to have them set up with houses already, so before they get married, they have their own house already. Uh, and that, you know, this is all of our, our plans. Uh, the reason why we came into this place was security. You know, I like it that you can't get in. Uh, you know, the even the delivery drivers now, we got them, they're stopping everybody. You know, now folks that come in that we know, uh, like uh, Wes comes in, Mama comes in, they, they know them. The security guards are the same ones all the time. We had the, the one older gentleman, the one I, I really like him, he was gone, they transferred him somewhere else for a while, but he's back now. So all the security guards uh, up there know us good. They're not letting anyone in. You know, even the workers that come in here, they gotta leave their ID at the guard check. You know, and, and uh, nobody's allowed to like hop the walls or anything like that. 
they got strict rules for these guys so you know that's that's good that's what that's what i wanted you know a little bit a little bit of security in here and uh we we pay for it you know with the water uh, i'm just just got to sit back and say okay wait wait for things to uh, move along everything in this country moves along slow uh, my door the the screen doors on the house those panels are coming out because it just wasn't a good idea well the guy said okay we see him he came and brought us the racks for the air conditioners and Faye showed him that and he oh okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna get a get a piece make it one solid piece and we'll, we'll you know mount it in there real good so he'll do it it's just when he gets the time and they're, and they're never in a big hurry uh, we got a window leaks when it rains uh, leaks in the the, like the landing on the steps where the steps turn around up there and it, it, the tiles here slippery as can be when they're wet and the shoes or even barefoot the only way you could do it is if you have socks on it's not so bad and we told them hey it's leaking uh, I even had the video sent them the video of the water just coming right in and pouring all over the floor and they're like, okay and that's been quite a while ago and they'll maybe they'll show up maybe they won't this is what you, this is how it goes here you know you just gotta you gotta know that when they come somebody said oh well you gotta you just gotta move out of that place well <laughs> yeah you got a lot of money you know one one guy said oh why don't you just buy the property next door uh, it's sold for first off it's sold and second off they ain't gonna let me put a well in there even if i did buy it and uh personally myself uh ten thousand per square meter and it would be at a premium because somebody already owns it they would want more than what they paid for it that's what they charge in here for these and uh these lots in here they're they're sold uh you know as i as we go up to the uh, place up there they have little stickers uh, they put stickers on them and when the stickers are green that means the lot is sold and the, and demeterland will be building them a house there's old guys there's there's two lots up up there and there's some private people that have lots that they're just sitting on there's they're not for sale they're maybe they're going to build when they retire people are overseas right now and they're going to build in here but i i do believe that once we get the uh the uh how more houses in here this is just going to get worse it's going to get worse for water unless they do something now right across the road over that way the roads just beyond those trees right there uh, they they put in a huge water line I mean it was a, it was a big line it looked like a 12 inch line they were working on that for quite a while I see you could probably see on some of the logs where they have it all dug up and they have areas still now that have valves and stuff like that so I don't know if that's going to come in here though and you can't really get much answers from the people down here uh, they you know the the folks most of them in here they're they're not too happy about the water but the one fellow way down there he's the one who turned me on to this little pump we're gonna give it a whirl it's not a big pump uh, I got the 250 watt he actually his is actually the 150 watt because it was it was a few thousand pesos well it wasn't a few thousand a few I think it was not even a thousand less I think it was five or six hundred pesos less and he got that one because he, he didn't want to spend a lot of money on it in case it didn't work and it's, it's working it's working it's got a little automatic thing where when it detects flow it turns on now it's a Chinese one don't know how long it's gonna last but it's copper and peller and all this you know all the good stuff so we'll, we'll give her a whirl we're, we're gonna give her a whirl my wife is kind of saying oh don't put it in until the warranty's out and it's like they don't seem to do much about any warranties here anyway you know if you if you complain out just just from talking to my neighbors that got problems they don't fix anything the, the one neighbor over here with his leaks on the on the toilet upstairs and the drains He's been going back and forth with them for quite a while. His warranty's out on that, six months on the plumbing, and he, he's got no satisfaction. He's unhappy. He's got an upstairs bathroom he can't use. So they put, you know, they, they cookie cut these places, pop them up, and you're on your own. You're on your own after that because you're just a ping pong ball. You know, the, the development will say go to, go to the company to build them, and the company that builds them says you go to them. And like I say, I, I said this before, you go, to, you go through the court systems here, cases take forever they just take forever and uh, I, I've been through it I, I got to watch in the court 
and not just my cases. We would get there and you'd see other cases going on that were taking just as long. They had a, a suit against the water district where we used to live. And when we were going up to Emus at their big provincial court, we had to drive up there quite often. That guy just wouldn't come that this, this stole all the money. He just wouldn't show. And that, that case drug on, it's, from what I understand, it's still dragging on. And if they do get a judgment against the guy, you know, what, what's he going to do? So this is, this is what we get. This is what, this is what you get here. Just know that when you come. So, and then, you, then there's no surprises for you guys. Some people say I'm complaining. Well, yeah, if you're, I'm a, I'm a Westerner. And you come here and when you buy something, you expect things to work. Don't expect that here, guys, because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There's, there's other places. Uh, I didn't do my, I ha always hated this, due diligence and checked on the water first. I didn't do it. So this is what I get. You know, I, sh I should have done that. That's why I make these vlogs, so you guys can do it. This new fellow I talked to, I showed him my water. The, the guy was getting, I guess it's him and his sister or something are building a house. They're related. They're, they're getting built right at the same time. Didn't know. And he's like, oh, this, this is no good. So I, I would just hope that the meter land would say, okay, you know, we, they knew they had a problem with mine because this, the, the superintendent that comes down here told me they knew it and, and they reported it to the office. Why didn't the office say, hey, Mr. Shaw, there's a little bit of water problem. We're gonna, we can put you in a plug out here and we can put you in a, a tap for your water so that you can put a pump in or have a provision for a tank and it'll cost you this much. And you know what I would have said? Do it, just do it. But they never said that. They hid, they hid the fact, from me anyway, that there wasn't pressure even though we talked to the guy. I have a video of him saying that when they were doing this place, it's just like what they're doing now with these other places, they had to stop their work. Uh, they know it, they know it, but are they doing anything? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, when this other fella comes back on his house, he said he was gonna talk to him and we'll see, you know, but he didn't know a lot of things he could get done, like with the window. You know, I did a lot of things here that was different. Didn't cost anything, just a change, but, uh, the bathroom was in the hallway when you got to the top of the stairs. That was where the door was. Well, I didn't want that. I wanted it in the bedroom. So I did that. That little window in this bathroom down here is facing forward. I didn't want to face it to the side. But if you look how these houses go, like this little lot right here next to mine, it's going to be right up against this firewall right here. I'm going to show you on the next house. This is, this is just what we got. This is what I could afford, guys. You know, I'm not some big, rich, super rich guy that's going to build this huge mansion. You know, we have a budget just like everybody else, and uh, I don't want to go over on it. But if you look at these houses, these are the exact same house as mine. This is it, okay? And they're building these together. But look look what you got here. Here's your, now this is a thinner firewall than mine. I got the much thicker one. But looky here, there's the, there's the neighbor's house. It's attached right to that firewall, guys. This, this is what you got here. And I knew that coming in. You know, they're, they're like row houses, like uh, my brother lived in, before he bought his big fancy house, he lived in, uh, him and his wife lived in a row house in Philly. And they were like firewall houses, the, the firewall went way up above the roof. And he lived in the middle of the block, and the only way to get to the, to the alley in the back was he either had to go through the house and go, you know, go down into the, his basement and out the back end, and then uh, he... he or you had to go all the way up to the end of the block. You know, that's just that's just how that went. Uh, you know, and and this is gonna this is gonna be a similar thing. And I'm okay with that. You know, uh, I didn't want to be out in the in the open. You know, like when I was in uh, GMA when the kids were going, I wanted I wanted out of there because people could just come and come and go. You know, come and go through there. And then when. Uh, when the, uh, the the present president came in, he did the thing against the the dopers, and and of course then we stayed longer because you know it, w it was better, and I wanted to try to consolidate as much money to get this place because I didn't have the full amount when we started this. You know, it took it took a while to build that up. You know, I, like I say, I'm not rich, and I don't like to go in to any savings and rob that. What if what if I need a triple bypass? <laughs> I don't know. 
you know, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to be just broke if something bad happens. And um, my insurance doesn't work here. It, it only works if, even though I paid into it, it only works if I was visiting here. If I go around the world and visit somewhere, then they pay. But once you move, it's over. And they won't even give you the, the money. I said, well, that was paid into. There's got to be a monthly amount that goes to that. Then just send me that money. And nope. It doesn't work. They don't do that. Because nobody, nobody's going to vote for that because how many people move out of the country like I did? Very few. I know a few guys went to Mexico, though. Uh, there's a couple of couple of buddies I had they went down to Mexico and I do I have one other buddy that's in uh, I haven't talked to him for a while it's not Guatemala but it's down there in Central America he lives down there but no he lost you know his insurance is gone too he, he lost his uh, insurance through the union so that's just their rules and uh, same thing with uh, the bank they don't allow it to be deposited to a Ford bank there and when I did was talking to them about that, trying to get it here, they said it's it's to protect you. Who's to say that foreign bank isn't going to take all your money? You know, and then you're going to come back and holler at us. And I was talking to the woman in the office and know her very well. Dealt with her for years. She's been there forever. Still there. Then uh, she said, "Then you know, you're going to be." complained to us this is why we do this and that's that's why i have trouble with all my transfers and stuff getting it done but we're we're good i mean we got we got plenty of food one thing we got plenty of food i'm just not spending any uh money going out and getting the cabinets and the tables and stuff i wait until the money comes in what if they what if transfer wise on monday says oh guess what you you uh we, we had to stop that transfer and start it over again. Sorry, they did it before. Took another eight days, so they could do that again. So that's why I, don't, I like to keep, it, keep what little bit we have now. And also, where we have the savings. That's closed now. That's closed at the border. We're not getting into Cavite. Sorry. They're, not, they're just not letting anyone in now with this uh, lockdown. Yeah, that's the way it goes. But I did, so on a lighter note, I did see some kind of funny stuff on Facebook that uh, a friend of mine sent it to me. It showed all the, all these libs, all the way from Biden, Harris, the governors, Newsom, Cuomo, a bunch of these uh, politicians, Pelosi, and all these people when the vaccines were first coming in. Oh, you don't, you don't want to take that. You know, because it was, because the former president was doing it. And now they're telling you you got to take it because you know they're, they're running the reins. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but uh, there, it's uh, it's on Facebook if you guys want to look that up. I forget the guy who did it. Uh, there's a couple of them who, who showcased that. I thought that was kind of funny. But it, it was like a collage of all of them saying, "Don't don't touch that," <laughs> you know. So, but uh, the other thing too, I've been watching what's going on in China. And, they, you know, they were saying they got their COVID under control, blah, blah, blah. But now they're on a huge lockdown again because the Delta, you know. So you, the, the news media, everything's going back and forth to their own gain, uh, not to ours. Uh, was, uh, somebody sent me an email saying, you know, about politics. And they said, you know, poly many and ticks for a blood-sucking thing. And I said, it should be poly dicks because they're really... <laughs> <laughs> really around us, you know, around the world. You look at look at a lot of these countries are, are just doing this, and uh, you get a lot of people saying, "Oh no, but it's for the good of us." What are you going to just stay locked down for the rest of your life, and that's okay with you? You know, that's what I don't understand. What what happened to uh, people who want to be free? We take a chance every time we walk out the door. Uh, you could get struck by lightning. You get hit by a bus. Uh, you watch here in this country. I, I'm on one of the sites. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's a Filipino guy who does it. And he, he showcases accidents here. Uh, one where the bus was driving along and went off the bridge. You know, I don't know where he gets them. Probably get people sent them to him. But the brush went over, uh, the bus went over the thing. They were doing construction and the, the wall wasn't very high, maybe knee high. And the bus, uh, don't know if a tire blew or what, but boom. Next thing you know, it's over the, it's over the thing. They, they show constant ones where a car will come across the road and hit right into a group of motorcycles. I've seen a few of those. Uh, we had over by our house uh, where we used to live, we were walking down the street and there was a big commotion and smoke and we got up there there was a big dump truck. It 
veered left and went into a house, killed the old guy in the house. Uh, we had another one over when we were in Carmona where uh, this big truck lost its brakes coming down the hill. There's no really inspections for them. They just look, when they stop them, they're not to inspect them. They're, it seems like they're just looking for their paperwork. That's it. They're not inspecting them to see if they're roadworthy. But this thing lost its brakes and smashed into some cars and some jeepneys, killed some people, you know, even, even a pregnant woman. So you, you're not guaranteed safety, guys. And with this thing that's going on now, uh, look how many people get the FOU and every year that uh, croak from it. Uh, it, it's going to happen, you know, but something that, that I don't understand is, uh, and I, d I said this in the video before, and you guys go ahead and chime in on this one. Herd immunity, a herd is something, it's a big group of cows all gathered together. So if they're looking for a herd immunity, you ain't going to get that from, a, uh, you know, the altar of Jabbo, you might say. You're not going to get it from there. You're going to get it from everybody getting together. And, and catching it just like they used to do with the chicken pox and stuff. The mothers used to have the chicken pox parties. But, uh, you know, if that's a, a herd immunity, that's people getting together. And, and then you got this distancing and you got these masks and shields here, guys. And, and they, they do push it. You go into stores, they got security. It's not cops or anything, but it's security guards. And they're, hey, put it down. And you don't put it down, you ain't getting in, guys. You know. And you don't... Eh, Especially as a foreigner, you come here, you don't need the headaches. You know, somebody said, oh, I, wouldn't be. I got, I got uh, one fella here, he was, uh, he was here and then he left. But he said, oh, I just ain't gonna wear it. Well, you're just, you're swimming upstream, man. <laughs> you know, just do it. Now here, inside of here, nobody's really bugging me. Uh, and, you know, and I'm not around anybody really. And for the, for the camera, I don't. But uh, when, when we go out, we, I put it on. We went up. We the uh, we went up to the store the other day, and then the kids waited at the guard shack. And and what did I do? Didn't need didn't need a shield outside here, but a mask. Yeah, I had it on. Even though I seen some people who didn't have it on, I'm a foreigner here. You know, and these are these are their rules that you need to adhere to because you're going to stick out like a sore thumb here, and you're going to get people saying, "Hey, look at that guy. He's a foreigner." And there and there's a lot of people here who don't like the foreigners. You know, these jilted women, you know, these foreigners come here, knock them up, and then they just take off because they're players. Uh, that happens quite a bit. And then they, they hate them. You know, they hate all of them now. So they're, they're going to turn you in, guys. You know, you, you may don't know who it is, but they're walking down the street saying that, and they're going to go up to the bear guy, and they're going to say, hey, I just seen this big guy. He's not wearing his mask out in public. And they're going to come visit you. <laughs> he said, don't, don't, just don't here just don't if you want to do it in america that's your business you know i know a lot of people in uh in california they just no screw that i'm not doing it and then i see this newsome guy they got a big recall thing and they're doing a big push you know to say that it's a waste of money and blah 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 but he's losing you know they got larry elder in there right now <laughs> wouldn't that be choice if he got in <laughs> if larry elder got in i would just love that but um the, the Californians, a lot of them that I knew, I'm telling you what, ultra-liberal uh, that I've known. Uh, just, you know, scared of their own shadow. And I think that's what they want. I put a thing on there about toxic masculinity. Uh, I put it on the, on the end of one of the videos. It was kind of long to read, but so I tried to stretch it out as long. And I left a little extra on there so you could read it without having to stop it. But... Uh, that's what they want. They want these guys to be sissies. You look at these guys walking around in, in uh, tights and, and man, man buns in there. You know, they're doing all this weird stuff. Well, those, those aren't men. I don't know what the heck they are. You know, that, that's, to me, that's so foreign. Now there's a thing making the rounds on YouTube where there's a Vietnam vet guy has a store and he's, he's getting in this uh, dude who's dressed up like a chick. And uh, <laughs> the old guy's he's sticking to his guns and guess what? It's true, you know. This stuff, this stuff is true. You, you, they don't say when you're born. A doctor doesn't put on the birth certificate that you're you're a transgender. You know, they don't have any place for that. They got male and female, and this stuff, this uh, construct of their mind to say that they're they're not. They're guys. There's something wrong. You know, they they need to. Uh, dig down deep into their psyche to find out what happened to them to make them that way. You know, 
I knew when I was in California, I knew a lot of folks, the girls that, you know, went with other girls. I don't want to say it because they'll flag me. And most of them were abused when they were children. You know, when you get to know them and talk to them. I don't hate these people. I talk to them. You know, there's there's all kinds of people that I, there's some I like, some I don't. That's just the way it is. But I don't just automatically hate somebody because of the way they are. I just had a video where I was talking to a couple of uh, GAY guys when I was up in San Jose. They, I liked them. I don't like what they do. You don't hate the sinner. You hate the sin, guys. That's the, that's the deal. And that's how it should be. But, uh, you know, these guys are, the one guy was even like, oh, well, you know, uh, we'll look into that. I said, you got to fight it. It's just like guys who, who steal or guys who cheat or, you know, you, you fight against these things that are wrong. You know, it's, it's a battle that we all have. Everybody's got their own battle. I got mine. Everybody's got their own. And if you look in the Bible, from what my understanding is, you commit one sin, you commit, commit them all through trans transgression, guys. That's, that's the way it goes. So, you know, just, you can't go and say, oh, my sin's better than your sin. You know, we, we all sin, guys, and uh, that we fall short. That's why they got, uh, Jesus came into the world. He came in here, this man, son of God, and uh, he died for us. He was the sacrificial lamb. And uh, he rose three days later, just like they said he would. And uh, now he sits waiting to return. This, this, guys, this is the truth that I know. You want to believe that? There you go. You don't? Do it at your own peril, guys. You know, that's, that's going to be on you. I talk to a lot of people about things like this and uh, try to be positive with them. But you can't go at them mad or anything because if you're going to flip somebody, you can't do it with anger. You know, you're no good. I remember going to uh, one church I went to, and they, there were some people that, you know, it was split in the aisle. There was a split in the aisle. I got, got out of there very quickly because there were teetotalers on one side and drinkers on the other. And the, and the drinkers were like, eh, 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 I'm going to church, that's cool. But the ones on the left side were like hating them because you're going to hell. And there was one guy in there said, yeah, they drink, they're going to hell. You can't drink no more. Well, I got to know the the son, and uh, he was a construction worker. Uh, he worked on the uh, gas lines, and we would have we would have uh, times to to meet with those guys if we were doing an electrical run, underground job for him, something like that. And he said, when he was young, his dad was the worst drunk you ever seen. I mean, he would come home and just wail the crap out of everybody, beat his woman, beat this kid's mom, and everything. So I'm glad he turned around. But just it's just because he had a bad case of uh, drinking doesn't mean that everybody does. You know that's just the way it goes. I know I know people who drink. I had, I had an uncle that that uh, used to get up in the morning and drink beer, drink beer until he went to bed if he wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> and uh, one of the sweetest, nicest guys you'll ever meet. No, uh, never got married. Didn't didn't want a wife. And uh, you know he was he was a cool guy. He was okay. Never did see him uh, drunk though. But he liked to drink beer, and he said, uh, "I get a woman; they, they're gonna, they're gonna bitch and holler, and they're not gonna want me to do that. So, I made my choice. I don't want a woman. <laughs> you got, we should have choices, guys. That's one of the big things here. We should have choices. And when it comes to this, uh, it's called it the altar of Jabbo. Uh, it should never be mandatory. A lot of these things are mandates, which are not law and enforceable, but." Uh, you know, they try to make it like it is, and they try to fool a lot of people into that. So just be careful, uh, especially if you're, you know, if, if they do open this place up again and people come and they, you know, they start them up again. You got you to follow the rules here, guys. You just just do it uh, because if not, you know, that's your own peril. You're, you're going you're gonna to run into headaches here, and it's not just with the authorities. You know, people aren't going to look at you the same. Now, I've done, you know, if I'm out... When, when we were up at the park. We were in the park. Hardly anyone was wearing, you know, the kids were playing on the thing. Nobody was wearing the masks or anything like that. And we even saw some cops walking by, had them down around their neck. And uh, they weren't bothering anybody. So yeah, I had mine down too. You know, you, you, you kind of go, go with the flow. Go, you know, go with the flow of things. Now, if I would have went out and had to go to the car and walk past some cops, no, I'd pull it up for sure because, uh, you know, I just don't want any headaches or anything like that. But they, they looked right in the park. They actually stopped by the gate and was watching in the park. And uh, that's a nice park. We're going to be getting the kids down there again. 
here pretty soon. Uh, they're supposed to be doing that pool before you know it. And I would like to take them. I'd like to take these kids up to the pool. We're in an island nation and I can't hardly ever take them anywhere swimming. And setting up the pool, our little tiny pool here is just a little pants in the way. Maple sent the monster cycle. Okay, why don't you say the end? It's so out. Okay, say, say actually it's Tabo Tom today. Say Tabo Tom out. Tabo Tom out. <laughs> yeah, this is Tabo Tom, guys. So y'all take care and Tabo Tom out. Mm -hmm.